Just one week away from his first title defence, a big welcome as well to the WBA and IBF super welterweight champion, Julian Williams. Happy New Year, good to see you. Yep, same to you. Thank you. Uh, listen, it's been, what, six months now that you've been walking around as a champion. Keith and Andre have been telling me that you're, you're always focused, you're all boxing. Has it been any different for you this last six months, though? No, not really. Like I said, it's just a little more media obligations. Uh, every much, everything's pretty much been the same. J Rock, what's going on? It's Berto, man. What's happening? What's up, bro? How you feeling? Do you have any pressures going into this big title fight back home? Uh, no, not really, man. Fight is a fight, man. Once the bell ring, you know, it's, it's we got two sets of gloves and then one ring, and you know, we're gonna scrap it out for for however long it lasts. And uh, I plan to come out on top. I'm not a. Uh, I'm not, you know, nervous about the crowd or fighting at home and stuff like that. Like, okay. a fight is a fight to me. Okay, so you're just ready to go. Has your mindset yes, changed sir. any, though? Because obviously you've gone from hunter to hunted. Is there anything that you've seen about Rosario that, that you think is something you're going to have to watch out for? Well, see, I'm still hunting. So, see, just because I got the title, I mean, I can't be a hunter as well. You know what I mean? So, uh, right now I'm hunting Jason Rosario. And uh, he's got some good stuff to him. You know, I, I looked at some tape, and uh, I actually seen a couple of his fights coming up. I seen the fight they lost, and I see him get back on a high horse, and he got strung a couple, strung, strung together uh, a couple of good wins. And uh, he's on a uh, he's on a good win streak right now. So I gotta come prepared so I can stop it. After this fight, Julian, later on in 2020, are you more interested in Hurd or Charlo? Uh, I'm more interested in belts, but right now my 100% focus is on uh, Jason Rosario. Well, Charlo has got one of the belts. Did you watch the the fight against Tony Harrison, and what did you make of it? Of course, I watched the fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a great fight. It was a it was a great fight. I actually thought it was going to be a little bit boring because I thought both of them was a little bit talking too much, but uh, they proved me wrong. Man, they put on a, a spectacular fight. It probably could have been a candidate for fight of the year if it didn't happen so late uh, in the year. It was a great fight, man. I was on the edge of my seat, and uh, both guys put it all out there, and uh, Charlo came out on top, so congrats to him. It certainly was. Uh, just going back to you for a minute, because in the countdown show, I heard you say that on the night that you beat Jarrett Heard, you felt like you would have been 50-50 with anybody from 147 up to 160 pounds. What was so different for that mm -hmm. fight? What made you so ready for that one, and how have you managed to carry over that into your preparation for this fight? Just my focus, you know. I believe uh, when I'm 100% focused, and I normally, I, I, I'm normally a focused fighter, but just something about that particular night, I was just, my focus was on just like 100, and uh, everything just came together that night. And uh, for 36 minutes, I really believe I would've been 50-50 with anybody in the, in, the, in the history of the division from 47 to 60. And that's not, you know, being cocky, that's just believing in my own abilities. And uh, I'm still improving, I'm still getting better, so. I don't want to be considered 50-50 with the best from 47-60 just for one night. My plan is to, once I get done my career, I want people to say I would have been 50-50 with anybody in history, you know, and I want to go down and, and go down as a great fighter. So that's the goal. So what's it like making 154 pounds for you right now? Do you plan on staying at this weight for a while? Is it easy for you to make the weight? Uh, it's never easy. It's never <laughs> easy. I've been fighting this weight. I've been fighting this weight a long time. Um, I turned open class in the amateurs at 16 at 152 pounds. And before that, I, in the intermediates, I fought 145 pounds. So I've been fighting between nine pounds my whole entire life. So uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not easy, but it's not hard either. I gotta be really disciplined. As you can see, I got the water right here. So I gotta stay on my water and stuff like that and uh, do everything right. And uh, I usually come out on top with the, with the weight. I I'll usually win that fight. battle, so. How many more fights do you think you're going to have here at 154? Do you ever see yourself, since you just compared yourself to Walter Waits all the way up to 160, do you see yourself making a jump mm -hmm. to 160 anytime soon? Uh, I think I got a few more fights here. You know, I, I really, I, my, my main goal is to really get all the belts because we haven't had an undisputed champion in the junior, junior middleweight division since Winky Wright, and that's been a long time. Yeah. And as you know, Winky Wright went on ahead and moved up to 160 and had great fights and went on ahead to be a Hall of Famer and make tons of money. So uh, I want to move up. I'm going to move up within the next, I think, year and a half to two years. Mainly, I, I think I could be a career junior middleweight if I wanted to. If, uh, if I hired a chef and did things like that, stuff that I really don't do now, I just do my diet off the fly 
and just uh, from things that I know from from being around the sport and from you know dieting all my life, you know I know, I know my body. But I want to jump to 160 because 160 is the more historical division. You know what I mean? Uh, for whatever reason, 54 pound don't get as much love. Maybe because it's a new division in boxing. It just came around in the 70s. So uh, I want to make that uh, the leap to middleweight. So Philadelphia have a new middleweight champion of the world. We haven't had one since Bernard Hopkins. So. Yeah, looking That's forward to, you, to seeing you shine goal. on a big stage. Uh, uh, we've got a gift for you yeah. because, um, well, why not? It's Christmas, it's New Year-ish. Uh, so take a look for your, under your okay. seat for me, would you, Julian? Uh -oh. Got a big fight coming back at home. Oh, yeah, First fight in front of a, a big home crowd like this. West Philadelphia, <laughs> born and raised. You got it? Can we see oh, it? Oh, this is dope. Oh, this, uh, uh, from, uh, <laughs> this is dope. From right. Fresh Breaks. What this is it, dude? Is we dope. can't okay. see it. Versace we'll it there you go. Oh, gosh. There you go. There you this go. is dope. Billy Boy. Billy Boy. Let's I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're showing Will yeah, Smith right dope. now. You uh, see you me? Said you, you see yourself as the new Fresh Prince. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I do, man. I do. Uh... I can you rap a, like him? The Fresh Prince of the, of, the, of the... I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm not a rapper. I can Everybody rap that can song. That. Everybody knows Julian. that song. <laughs> Everybody knows that song. <laughs> Any chance you might wear it for the walkout? This hat? Probably yeah. not, but I'm going to put it in my closet. I'm going to put it in my closet. And it's going to stay Philly, in my closet baby. for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I'll rip Philly hard. I'm going to rip Philly Fresh hard. Prince, man. Come on now. We're going to change your name. Oh, Be God. You they gave me a new name. nickname. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, best of luck for you next Saturday. God bless. Take care. Uh, good luck, bro. Thank you. I appreciate you guys for having me. For all the best boxing content, follow PBC on Fox on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.